Let's get some more applications of slope. I'm looking for the average rate of change from point to point. Okay, the average rate of change from a particular input value to another input value is gonna be given by uh, f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. Some of you guys are saying that this looks an awful lot like slope. And you know what? It is. It's the change in y over the change in x. What do you mean? I thought those were f of x's. Remember, f of x is the function formerly known as y. Okay, and if we look down here at an arbitrary picture, I have my input values, I have my associated output values. They create points x, y, okay, x, y, okay. Mm, yeah, so then it's the change in y over the change in x. And that's how you get the slope of a secant line between those two, and that's called our average rate of change. Let's get an example up here. Okay, sure. So then I'm gonna let this be my x1, this be my x2. Uh huh. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for my average rate of change. Um, R A R C. Average rate of change? Hmm. No. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Yes. This is f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. That'll be fun, but what I suggest for you is to find f of x2. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, everywhere I see an x in f, I'm gonna put a two. So then, this is gonna be f of two, which is, 2 squared plus 2, which is 4 plus 2 is um, 6. Very nice. So now we want to find f of x1. That'll be fun. I'm looking for f of 1. Very nice. So then this is going to be 1 squared plus 2, which turns out to be 3. Very nice. So f of x2 is 6. f of x1 is 3. Now I'm going to plug it in, plug it in gonna make the whole room smell fresh. Now I'm up here. Okay, what was my x2? Or f of x2 is 6 minus f of x1, which was 3 t he t he divided by x2. Was my particular x2 value? It was 2. Yes. Minus x1, which was 1. Okay, that nice. Finish him. Um, 6 minus 3 is 3 divided by 1. Very nice. And then your answer is 3. It's the old sit and sleep ending. Yes. You killing me, Larry? Uh-huh. It's a California thing. And you do.